urine formation there are three steps involved in urine formation first glomerular filtration second tubular reabsorption third tubular secretion glomerular filtration the first step in urine formation it is the filtration of blood carried out by the glomerulus which are tiny ball shaped structures composed of capillary blood vessels which are present in the bowman's capsule during filtration blood enters the afferent arteriole and flows into the glomerulus where filterable blood components such as water and nitrogenous waste will move towards the inside of the glomerulus and non filtrable components such as cells and serum albumin will exit via the efferent arteriole tubular reabsorption around 99% of the filtrate obtained by the glomerulus is reabsorbed by the renal tubules this is known as reabsorption molecules and ions will be reabsorbed into the circulatory system the fluid passes through the components of the nephron namely the proximal convoluted tubule the loop of henle the distal convoluted tubule and the collecting duct as water and ion are removed the ion concentration changes this is achieved by active and passive transport tubular secretion during secretion some substances such as hydrogen ions urea creatinine and drugs will be removed from the blood through the peritubular capillary network into the collecting duct the end product of all these processes is urine which is a collection of substances that has not been reabsorbed during glomerular filtration or tubular reabsorption